I mean, if you don't like jump into the ditch because someone else is walking <laughs> by know. you, you, you know, the other starts swearing at yeah. you. And I just think, you know, there's a lot of things that we're not talking about. So let's talk about, all right, if you're healthy, yes, you can carry it. Yes, right. we have to do the social distancing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But, but, but again, the message is if, if you're healthy, you're okay. Yeah. So why is there this, this, this panic, mm -hmm. you know? So that's a tough one. Another thing, I mean, I don't know. This is kind of maybe like, you know, I grew up in Germany, but what, you know, we're, we're, we have to expose our bodies to viruses and germs and whatever, whatever, yeah. because this is what keeps our immune system <laughs> right. like alive. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to be sheltering in place for like three months. Yeah. I mean, what happens to our immune system? Yep. They, they're not, they're like, all right, done. I'm like out of business because I, I don't have to fight anyone here. Right. No COVID, no, no virus, nothing. And then we're going to get released back into a different kind of normal. So I can totally see the second wave. Yeah. But it's not a second wave, so to speak, of COVID. It's just like, you know, it's like we're, we're this, this, uh, what is it called? This uh, uh, herd immunity yeah. is, is this, we're making things worse. Yeah. At least that's how I feel about it. I so. agree with that completely. I totally agree with that. I think. And I'm worried. A great, here's a great point that you make though. And I never consider this until it seems so obvious now that you just said it, but I hadn't thought about it, but from the perspective of fitness and health, it's like it, there needs to be some attention paid to the fact that the difference between my suffering more damage than somebody who's unhealthy Mm -hmm. from this COVID is because I, I take care of myself because I, not that they don't, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it's healthy eating. It's taking care of yourself medically. It's, it's staying fit. It's so how important is it that, that people are having this conversation and like, yes, they need to get back to fitness. And, and I, I can respect the fact, and I, I can't even imagine how hard it must've been for you guys to like try and do what you do mm -hmm. over zoom or, or on, on YouTube or, or whatever, because that's, I mean, let's just be, be honest when somebody's in a room with somebody who's got that, we talked about this a little bit earlier, yeah. right before we started recording is like, there's an energy when you're in the room with other people who are doing something, whether it's working together or creating together mm -hmm. or riding a bike together or whatever there's, you know, you're kind of pumping each other up and you're kind of getting each other motivated. And I, a great example is that I have, <laughs> I've been doing two things fitness wise, besides the walk. <laughs> you're going to yeah. laugh. What? I've been learning how to do a handstand How's and that? I've been learning to do the middle split. <laughs> <laughs> How's that I going? Don't know I can't why. I just like, but I have a friend who's doing the same thing. So we're watching these same videos, right? Uh -huh. And he's way more motivated than I am, but mm -hmm. I, when I get up in the morning, like I, you know, I have, as everybody, I have a shit ton of things to do. And it's like every single day I have to cross a few things off the list to not even put on the list because I'm not going to get to them all. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but when we are in the same room together and doing it, I'm like, yes, let's do the handstands. Let's do the splits. You know, it's it. And so it's this, you know, that's kind of a funnier version of it, but <laughs> you know, getting people to be together whether it's, you know, what you guys are going to start doing is outdoor fitness mm -hmm. for a while or getting into the same room or going on walks together. It's so important. And oh, it's to be shut important. down from that is going to, it's a huge detriment to the health of other people. And I think you're right. I think building up your, you know, keeping your immunity built by being around potential viruses and that type of thing. And also like staying fit and being around other people seems like See, on the scale, it seems more important to me and I'm not a, you know, I'm not a health official. So, but same here, I think you, but we I, definitely I, have I, opinions. I, and yeah. I, I think well, you my have opinion, your I opinion, think. Jenny's opinion, I think we, our opinions should not be ignored. You know, mm -hmm. I think we, 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 you know, speaking to health, I mean, all they're just looking at is, is just like, 
you know, reports, reports, mm-hmm. and, and, you know, whatever. I mean, if you ask me, it's from a bunch of unfit fat people sitting in behind desks that are and, giving you these and, reports. And, and I'm so gl- glad you said that, and I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, definitely it's... how Adam feels. I mean, I do feel for people like my parents, like they're immune compromised mm. and they're older. Yeah. And so I understand their fear and they're being very careful and right. they have to be. And that I get. But I also think that people that are young and healthy for the most part, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. You know, I am also not a health expert. It just makes sense to me that you know, this I, can't... I know the answer, but continue. <laughs> well, I just think those people have to be more yeah. protected and they can do that themselves. And then we can choose, you know, as mm-hmm. adults, what feels right for us. A hundred percent agree with that. That's yeah. very important, right? Because, and this brings me to another question for you, because we have similar models and that they're membership based models. Right. Mm-hmm. And for a while I was like hanging on with the death grip of this, like, I don't want to lose any members. I don't want to lose any members and I'll do whatever. Mm-hmm. Right. But then I, as I, you know, come to think about it more, I realized that the comfort level of everybody, I've got probably 70% of my membership who are asking me daily, please mm-hmm. open the doors, please mm-hmm. open the doors. I don't need to have a hundred percent because I want to, it's not that I like the 70% is the majority. It's that I know certain people have certain situations. I've got members who are themselves immune compromised or Mm -hmm. have family members in their home and I completely get it. Right. Right. But at some point I need to say, okay, I'm going to open the doors. Those of you who are comfortable come in. We will, luckily for us, we have month to month membership. So Mm -hmm. I just charge, I start charging them again. And the people Mm -hmm. who don't want to come back, I say, okay, you know, I don't want to lose that revenue, but at the same time, it's like my, my bigger priority is to make sure everybody feels good and safe. And so if I lose that member for a few months, they'll come back when they're ready. Mm -hmm. And I just have to be okay with that. I just, how many people do you think in your, in percentage ish of your communities are like, we cannot wait to get back. Please open. I would say at least 50 to 60%. Mm -hmm. So we had about 20, we lost about 20% of our members, which actually industry-wide is not bad. I mean, there's some gyms lost 50%. 100%. Most gyms don't generate any money. Yeah, Yeah, right now, right? So we, we were able to retain most of our members. And we do have, I think, let's see. Keep talking. I would say, my drink. go ahead. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> so I would say out of that, maybe in the end, maybe 20% more are on freeze and the rest remain active. Like they're doing our online classes and all that. And I would say most of those people are ready to come back. I mean, yeah, they're, they're going crazy. This is a huge part of their routine stress relief. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of first responders. We have a lot of nurses. We have EMTs. We have doctors. They're ready to come back. Yeah. There, I mean, one of our instructors is an emergency room nurse in Santa Rosa, and she's like, I'm ready. Like, let's yeah. go. I'm ready to go. Yep. So I would say like a good percentage are ready to come back. And it is, you know, I know that there's this perception like, oh, you don't need a gym. Like, we don't need – and we don't. Like, okay, we. it's not – you know, it's not like – we need food or water or whatever, but (laughs) I mean, it's not like a life necessity, but, and you can work out at home, but it is not the same. Right. You will not work. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how much you love your Peloton. (laughs) I don't care how much you love. I'm waiting for a bunch of those to go on sale. I know, right? (laughs) It is not the same. You will never push yourself as hard as you would when you are around other people and a live instructor. You just won't. Yeah. If you will not push yourself you, you cannot work out alone like you will with a personal trainer. When you have someone standing over you and saying, I know you can do one more rep or I know you yeah. can do 30 more seconds or whatever. And you, there's just something in you, you push past that, that comfort zone, you right. know, and it's very hard for people to get used to f- feeling that it, he's working out when you're working, when you're doing it right, it doesn't really feel great. Right. You know, it's kind it's uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, your lungs are burning, your heart rates up, you're sweating, And for a lot of people, they'll quit before they get to that next level where they need to be to get fitter. And so you need other people, you need instructors, you need trainers to push you past your comfort zone or out of your comfort zone to some place that you don't really want to go. Right. And no piece of equipment will replace that ever. Right. 
And we also, you know, we were kind of talking about earlier, we have this amazing community and people just miss seeing their yeah. friends at the gym. Completely. It's a social, I mean, I've been reading a book from the previous Surgeon General and his work has brought him to really start diving into the idea of loneliness as it pertains to health and wellness, right? Mm -hmm. And there is, it's so under appreciated the amount of difficulty on your health and wellness there is when there's loneliness involved. And it even, I mean, it's such an, a fascinating book and I'm studying it because I'm actually preparing to do a Ted talk, um, on community and connection and that type mm -hmm. of thing. And this, this idea of isolation and loneliness and what it does, um, to people like physically and emotionally. And it's not, it's not just, Oh, I'm lonely. It's like there, there are deficits that come to you as a human because of it and having community Mm -hmm. which whether it's in a gym or a co-working space or, you know, any other number of ways to do it, people thrive more, you know, like you said, you can, for me, for example, I, most of my people come here and they do their work, right. Their mm -hmm. work from home or remote workers. And we're all learning that working from home sucks ass. Mm -hmm. I mean, not even a joke, <laughs> but now people are like, Oh, it's really, it's really true. Like you to be in a room with other people, Again, those energy shifts and that type of thing, it makes a difference. It really makes a difference. And I, I just don't think kind of to your point that there's enough emphasis being put on that component when they're considering, oh. and I'm not, I'm not here by the way, just to say like, oh, this COVID is a bunch of bullshit and it's not really happening. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't subscribe to that either, mm -hmm. but in the end there, there are some components I don't think that are being considered. And I feel like humanity is being like painted with one big wide brush and mm -hmm. we know that's not what the case is right that, yes. so. but 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 it it is a real tough one if you know we're paying attention to the news it's bad enough that one channel talks about you know this case another case there's uh, different rules different counties i mean everyone is so confused businesses phase one two two and a half bc whatever <laughs> just like you're just yeah. confused and you know it's 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 really tough to take it very very serious mm -hmm. yes we are taking it serious i mean we're we're in the business of health right we have 4500 members we have oh. uh, 150 employees so think about how many spouses and children and families they have, of course, I'm going to take it serious. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll go the, uh, I'll do everything I can with those three fitness clubs that we have um, to make sure that everyone feels safe to, to work out at our facilities. But it is like on, like as a, as a side note, I, I'll take it very serious, but then I pay attention to, people and news and the world and i'm like this makes no sense mm -hmm. like it just makes no sense like so you go to the grocery store like so first off you're already unhealthy which i mean a sad fact is 90 percent of people live an unhealthy lifestyle oh jesus really yes are you making that up so no <laughs> <laughs> okay. i feel like that was an adam fact is that a real fact? 90%? Well, even if it weren't 90, anything It's a large over, percentage. Like, yes. Okay. All right. All right. Let's just say just because now here is my own wife challenging me and that's <laughs> been going on on a regular basis. <laughs> Welcome to COVID. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna, COVID I'm, marriage. Oh my God. Hashtag. I'm going to give you uh, fact facts, which is you, everyone can Google it. The industrial average rate mm -hmm. nationwide, how many people just belong to the gym? Take a guess. Uh, how many people? Yeah. What like percentage, the percentage of the population? Uh, belong to a gym? But have a gym um, membership. Ha oh, have a gym membership. Yeah. I'm going to say 35. Ooh, that's 35%. That's, that's way higher than I would say. Yeah. Wow. I would say So 15. anyway, the sad fact is... 15. It's 7. 5 oh to 7%. Oh my gosh. No, hang on. Really? I'm not, I'm not done yet. Yeah. Fact check. Google it. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm talking about gym memberships, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about who is actually going to oh, the gym. Oh, 3%, maybe. All right, 3%. Yeah. 
So 3% of the people are living a healthy lifestyle. 97% do not. Yeah. Those are facts. So 